here is so allowable axial stress uh, compressive stress uh, in the mass memory that is 0 0.25 fm dash 1 minus r over 40 whole square bracket close for uh, slenderness ratio less than or equal to 29 now author has recommended that a brick masonry wall may be designed considering a maximum slenderness ratio of 16 so there are different slenderness ratios present so what we go uh, uh, for the uh, uh, designing of wall we will take the slenderness ratio 16 uh, with first class bricks and one ratio six cement sand mortar you can increase the slenderness ratio depending upon cement uh, sand mortar so i am going with uh, same uh, one ratio six uh, cement sand mortar the here is formula 0 0.25 fm dash so with one ratio six masonry strength that is with one ratio six masonry strength is 2.4 here fm dash that is 2.4 for 1 ratio 6 and slenderness ratio 16 uh, after putting in for in, in this formula uh, we will get uh, allowable compressive strength of brick masonry that is 0 0.504 mega pascal now uh, the second step is number of half bricks within the thickness of wall means 4.5 inch uh, half uh, half bricks the full brick length is uh, in our country available that is 9 inch and the half uh, brick length is 4.5 inch so how many number of half inch length that is n that is the empirical formula equal to 1.3 that is a factor uh, gamma 1 due to the presence of opening in the wall uh, multiplied by 9.81 w uh, that is the total load of the wall gamma 2 gamma 2 is the factor that depends upon the your uh, location of the wall for the interior wall that is 1 for the exterior wall that is uh, different values given uh, similarly for corner or edge that is gamma 2 and here that is fa uh, here allowable compressive uh, strength uh, and here is 1000 multiplied by 114 and after you will get now i will calculate this value uh, how the 4500 come so here is a bottom i will put the values and divide with 1.3 multiply by 9.81 here uh, the fa value is 0 0.0504 0 0.504 multiply with 1000 multiply with 114 divided by 1.3 multiply with 9.81 press equal our answer is 4500 the author recommended that rounded to higher whole number so nearest whole number that is 4500 so after we getting the number of half bricks we will multiply with 114 so that is half brick, uh, brick dimension so we will get the total thickness of the wall for the designing so minimum thickness recommended by the author that is 2 to 8 millimeter means 9 inch so now let's go with the first example here the example 20.5 design thickness for the wall of the previous example whose load is 10,978 so this load we have calculated in the previous example here in this example here the total load is calculated 10,978 that is the load of interior wall is to be designed the load of uh, this slab this slab this slab load of this wall okay self load of this wall so all the loads are present in this wall in this wall which is going to be designed whose load is 10,978 so that is the interior wall so gamma 2 will be 1 and total load that is w here is the formula w gamma 2 divided by 4500 so gamma 2 is 1 so we are getting the value of n that is 3 so uh, should be greater than or equal to 2 means greater than 2 to 8 millimeter now multiply with 3 
you will get the answer 342 millimeter uh, uh, that is 13.5 inch ball so that's all how we design the wall brick wall in the uh, in the brick masonry now there is a second example repeat the above example means the load is same but you have to use mud mortar is used for brick masonry but the wall is plastered on both sides with cement sand means the uh, for the joining of bricks mud, mud mortar is used means mud is used and on the, after the course work of the brick the plaster is present on both sides of the wall so uh, what is the masonry strength will be here is a brick work in mud mortar uh, with pointing and plaster is present or plaster is present on both sides the masonry strength that is 1.8 so here I have shown the calculation number of uh, sorry here is allowable compressive strength uh, that is 0 0.25 fm dash 1 minus r over 40 so here instead of fm dash 2.4 i have put the value 1.8 that is the value 1.8 and cylinder ratio 16 i got the value 0 0.378 megapascal then i have put in the empirical formula that is given by this author 1.39.81 i have put the value 0 0.378 i got the answer 3378 so rounded to nearest whole number that is 80 so that is our formula w gamma 2 over 3380 for mud mortar so i will go again here this problem so load is same wall is interior so just due to mud mortar the factor is 3380 so now the value of n is coming 4 for the same uh, load uh, in the mud mortar the value is coming n more means now the wall thickness need to be provided for 5 6 millimeter now let's take another example that it will uh, give you one more concept with the gamma, gamma 2 design a brick exterior wall with one ratio six uh, cement sand mortar means the allowable compressive stress calculations are same this formula is same will be used but there is a new condition uh, having a service load of 4000 kg per meter but the wall is exterior now the wall is not the interior as at the start of this uh, brick masonry design there is condition if you are designing a exterior wall then you have to use the factor 1.5 so here in this example uh, w will be 4000 that is load is given gamma 2 will be 1.5 in the denominator that is 4500 so answer is 2 so we have to provide the wall thickness n times 114 millimeter half wall thickness dimension so that is 2 to 8 millimeter so that's how we design the brick masonry wall so for any other uh, cement sand mortar you have to use the strength of that uh, brick masonry unit for one ratio 3 will be different the one ratio 4 that will be different so that's all for a design of brick masonry wall have a nice day